I speak a lot about systems. Systems in generating the results that you want. It's not about your motivation, it's not about your dedication, it's about creating those systems that are gonna facilitate the outcomes that you desire. In this video, I'm gonna explain how I personally use those systems, implement them in my own life, and how you can as well. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? Dr. Jabal, MedSchoolInsiders.com. As I've gone over on the Med School Insiders channel several times, systems are critical in creating the results that you want. And I'm gonna leave a few videos down in the description below that are gonna go over how you can implement them, the theory behind them, all those goodies that you definitely need to watch in order to get the full benefit of this idea. Now in this video, I'm gonna give a few examples of how I use systems in my own life and how I used to as a student as well and how that can be applicable to you in your life. <clears throat> this is not gonna be exhaustive by any means. If you want the full details, again, check out the Med School Insiders videos. This, however, is gonna be focusing on two main ideas that I think are critical and fundamental to creating systems that are useful for me. Number one is reducing friction, and number two, what is number two? And number two is creating rules for yourself. Okay, so first, back when I was in residency, I paid a premium to live super close to the hospital. I was paying close to, it was like 15 something, close to $1,600 a month for rent to live in my own two bedroom, two and a half bath townhome. And it wasn't about the size. I actually wanted to just get a one bedroom, uh, but it, that worked out because then I had a, an office and a bedroom and etc. But the reason I chose that place was because it was very close to work. It was literally like a mile and a half, very, very close. And I chose that and I paid that premium for a couple of reasons. Number one, I knew that I was gonna be insanely busy, right? Because not only is surgical residency insanely busy, but I also know that I was gonna be working on Blue Link, my biomedical incubator and med school insiders. So I knew that time was gonna be of the essence even more so than normal. For that reason, I wanted to limit my commute. Again, I'm reducing friction, reducing the pain points in my life. By living a mile and a half away, I was able to get to work in less than 10 minutes. That's awesome. The second thing, and equally important, is that I was too busy to go do cardio outside of you know, my regular day to day. If I was gonna to go to the gym, I wanted to do some weight training. So by living that close, I could also bike to work. And that was key because now every single day I'm getting cardio at the beginning and at the end of the day, biking makes you feel good. Biking just, biking's awesome, right? Now we often hear that time is money, but I don't think that we actually behave in that manner. So back when I was doing my sub eyes in plastic surgery, my away rotations, I was in one city and I didn't have a car. So I decided not to rent a car. I was just going to bike because I lived relatively close to the hospital, but getting groceries was a pain. And I actually tried getting groceries on my bike a couple times. I had a, I had a rack on the back of it and I went to like Trader Joe's and strapped some things on, but I couldn't carry that much at once. I would have to make multiple trips. It was kind of tedious. It took a long time. It was a little bit unstable. I decided it wasn't a good solution. So again, in reducing the friction, I said, let me see how I can make this a little bit easier. How can I solve this problem? And back then there were two services I signed up for. Number one was Instacart and number two was Google Express. Essentially grocery delivery services. I don't think this is necessarily the best right now. The one that I'm using right now in Las Vegas is Amazon Fresh. So Amazon Fresh delivers my groceries from Whole Foods. Check it out, may work for you. But the important thing here is that I decided it was worth it to pay that premium for the grocery delivery services so that I could save time, so that I could get more sleep, so that I could study, do some more Anki cards for my away rotation to perform better there. Cause that's gonna be a much more important outcome than saving 10 or $20 or even $30 per month in groceries. But the important lesson here is figuring out that balance. When do you spend money that makes your life easier? And when are you just wasting money, right? So I'm willing to spend for grocery delivery services when I'm super busy on a away rotation for plastic surgery, but I'm less willing to buy three drinks when I'm out at a bar because that's very expensive, relatively speaking. I'll give you one more example. When I was in residency, I went to, luckily went to a program where even during intern year, you get to operate a lot. I remember day one, day one of residency, I got the scalpel in my hand and I was, I was doing a Dupuytren's contractual release. Normally interns are tasked with doing a lot of the floor work, but the fact that we got to operate a lot, again, starting day one, was really a treat, really a privilege. There's pros and cons that come with that. One of the big cons is that as an intern, so you need to be juggling all the floor work in between cases, and then you also are operating. It's very, very difficult to eat. I, most days, I wasn't eating for 
as soon as I got into the hospital until I got out, I usually just wasn't eating, or if I was, it was a very small bite here and there. So I was quickly losing weight. Not an ideal situation. The way to remedy that was starting every single morning with a really fat protein shake. I shouldn't even call it a protein shake, it's more like a, a meal replacement breakfast shake. And I'll go over the whole recipe in a future video, but it had a lot of fruits, a lot of veggies, almond milk, you know, almond butter or peanut butter, protein powder, all these things. And it was 1,000 to 1,200 calories per smoothie. It was quick, it was, well, quick to make and also quick to drink every morning. And it helped balance out that inconvenience of not being able to eat for most of the day. So I wasn't gonna be losing weight, I wasn't gonna be super drained on energy, things like that. Another way you could possibly reduce the friction in this case would be doing meal prep. So preparing your meals, like let's say on a Sunday, and then having a lunch to take to the hospital every single day. The reason I didn't do that is because, again, you're like in the OR, then you're running to the floor, back and forth. Being able to sit down and eat, even at the computer, was sometimes a struggle. So I decided to do the smoothie route because to me that addressed that problem most effectively. Okay, so those are a few ways to reduce the friction, reduce the pain points in my life. And, and I think that a lot of those could be applicable to you as a student. But the other side of it is creating rules, creating rules for yourself. Now, obviously the first prerequisite with this is that if you create a rule, you have to stick with it. I'll give you a couple examples. Now, when I was a medical student, I was very good about budgeting. And I had a rule for myself. The rule was every time I have any transaction, any exchange of money, I put it in my budgeting app. The app I use is called Splitwise. It's outdated, I don't think it's been updated in years. Don't use it, find something else that's better on the app store. And it was very simple. I would just tell the category, the amount, and just describe it. it took literally 10 seconds. And doing that, while some people say, oh, that's such a chore, I'll just use Mint, whatever, it was much more accurate this way. And essentially, it let me budget much more effectively every single month, be much more mindful of my expenses so that I could stay within a budget and not rack up additional debt that I didn't need to. So that's a very simple rule. Now, another one is dietary choices. What's actually counterintuitive is it is easier to have a straight rule, cold turkey, not eat a certain thing, versus saying, I'm gonna eat it in moderation. So for example, for several years, I, did, I just didn't do sweets. I didn't have dessert. And when I went to Asia earlier this month, um, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, that's at Kevin Jabal MD, you know what I'm talking about. I was having a lot of good food. I was having, I had boba that, it wasn't the first time I had boba, but it was the first time I enjoyed boba. I, I got the, I understood the hype about boba. Um, I had like a lot of desserts. It was a good time. Me, my friends, we had an awesome time. Came back and in March and April of this year, I was on steroids because my, my Crohn's disease, my inflammatory bowel disease had acted up and I was on steroids for the first time in like 11 years. Not a good situation. Long story short, I did some experimentation and I think that having sweets was part of throwing off my microbiome. So now I have a new rule again and it's back to the original rule which is I just don't do sweets. So let's say after dinner my friends want to get dessert. Sure, I'll join you but I'm not going to order any dessert. That's just, I just don't do that. It's part of my identity now that I don't eat dessert. I don't eat sweets. And it's so much easier that way than saying, oh, am I going to or not this one time? Because that actually requires more discipline, more willpower to say, oh, let me weigh the options. When was the last time that I had a dessert? Can I have it today? Oh, is it a cheat day? Is it this? If you just have a rule, it's so much easier to say, nope, just don't do it. Taking thinking out of the equation. So having a rule like that actually makes your life easier. It's kind of counterintuitive, but experiment with yourself. And whether that's sweets or, or something else, for example, if you just don't buy junk food and keep it at home, it's so much easier to not eat junk food. If you have a whole bunch of like Cheetos and Doritos in your pantry and you need to work every day to resist that temptation, that's gonna be a lot harder and you're ultimately going to fail at some point. I'll give you one last example of this rule in action. Back when I was in medical school and studying a lot, I oftentimes had, was like almost done studying, but I was a little bit hungry or I wanted to relax or I wanted to stop studying for the day but I would just create a rule. I would say, you know what? I gotta finish my Anki cards for the day or I gotta finish this chapter or whatever it is before I'm allowed to do X, Y, or Z. And it sounds very simple because it is, but by doing the simple thing, you're forcing yourself to act within these positive constraints and actually get more work done than if you just said, ah, eh, you know what, I'm hungry, I'm gonna go eat. Because now you're forcing yourself, you're actually getting more work done in less time Again, that's Parkinson's law. And at the end, you're being a much more effective student. Of course, there's some nuance to this. You, you have to do it properly. Otherwise, you're gonna be studying for three hours nonstop and burn out. Like I would say, I need to finish the next Pomodoro session or whatever it is, make it reasonable. 
but in doing so, you actually end up getting more done. I hope you guys got some value from this video. Again, reduce friction, implement rules for yourself wherever it is relevant, and use that to create systems that are gonna give you the outcomes that you want, whether it's you wanna lose weight, if you wanna do better in school, if you wanna get better at sleep, maybe you have a rule about not using your phone after a certain time, all those things. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments, how are you reducing friction in your life? How are you implementing systems? What rules do you have for yourself? I'd love to hear. Much love to you all, and I will see you guys in that next one.